So beta 4 for serial 1.4 was just released today and it comes with a lot of bug fixes and other enhancements, most of which are kind of behind the scenes type things for Python scripting and, and other bugs that existed in the software. I'm only going to cover a handful of things, which are improvements and additions that you'll actually see in the program itself as you're using it. So make sure that when you go to download it on the download page, there is a change log that lists everything that was fixed and added and improved. So make sure you go through that just so you're familiar with what's going on. Like I said, I'm just going over a few things that I thought were important for everybody to know about when you install beta four. So let's check it out. My name is Rich and you're watching Deep Space Astro. Okay, like I said, just a few things I wanted to show you guys that have changed with the beta 4 release of 01.4. The first one is they have removed the get scripts function from the burger menu over here in the top right corner. So previous to beta 4, we would come up here, there would be a get scripts, we'd click that and it would take us to the list of scripts for us to download and install. That has been more appropriately moved over into the scripts menu now. So right here, get scripts. Same window you're used to seeing, they just move the function over into the scripts menu. While we're in here, they've also added a search function for the scripts. As you probably have noticed, the list is starting to get relatively long. There are a handful of developers that have been contributing to the project and adding scripts themselves. So if you know the name of the script that you're looking for, instead of scrolling through this list, you can just start typing the name in a search box. So like star reduction, for example, right? Anything with the word star in it would come right up, find what you're looking for, put your tick mark next to it and business as usual. The other thing that they've added around the scripts, uh, you probably are aware that if you double click on any of the scripts within this list, it'll open it up in the editor for you. And this doesn't actually allow you to change the script, but it does allow you to save a copy of it and make changes to it and, and do whatever you want with it for your own personal reasons, maybe. They've also, if we close out of the scripts menu, any script that you already have loaded, in your scripts menu, if you just hover over it, for example, we'll look at my star reduction script and just right click, it'll automatically open that script in that editor for you. So a little quicker way of, of being able to save a copy of it for yourself. And that works not only with the Python scripts, but also with the serial scripts. So same thing, you can just right click on them, save a copy, make some changes for your own workflow, save it off someplace in your hard drive and then tell Cyril the path to that file. The next improvement that they made, if you click your open button and then browse to any file that you have, the preview on the side here, not only will be generated in color if the image is in fact color, but it also will apply auto stretch for it too. So if I come into my lights directory here, I can start clicking through and get a nice little preview on the side. The preview has always been here, but it was never auto stretched. It was never in color if it was a color image. And this was the largest that you can make it. So if we cancel this and then come up into our burger menu and then into preferences, come up into user interface and right here under image thumbnails, previous we had 128 by 128 and 256 by 256. Now we also have a 512 by 512. So if I select that and hit apply, come back over into my open and now my preview is a lot larger. And like I said, it's auto stretched. If the image is color, you'll get a color preview of it. So it's a nice way just to kind of take a quick look at your individual frames if you need to. So the last thing that I wanted to show you guys, and just let me open up an image here, is when you're in that part of the workflow where you're ready to start stretching your image. So I have a linear image opened up right now. It hasn't been stretched. There's the auto stretch preview. So if I go back into linear and then come up in image processing and under stretches and use any of these four stretching tools, if the data in here, if any of it is outside of the zero one, right? Zero being pure black and one being pure white because of some previous processing step, we would get this message. And it always causes confusion. People, including myself, the first time that I saw it, are wondering, you know, which correct option do we select to correct this issue that we're being warned about? Super confusing if you don't have a good understanding of what's going on under the covers. So the developers have got rid of this message. You will no longer see it. And instead, what's going to happen, if I was to come up into my stretches and hit generalized hyperbolic stretch, for example, instead of that message popping up, if you look down in the console, you'll see 
it says marginally out of range of pixels detected scaling to zero and one that is serial taking care of that issue now automatically in the background for us and just notifying us that it did detect a range of pixels that were outside of that zero and one so you no longer have to worry about that message prompting you any longer well i hope that was helpful for everybody as always if you have any questions drop them in the comments below like i said this is a quick video so we're going to wrap it up i'll see you in the next video in clear skies